Did you know that there are certain areas in information technology that a lot of people in the field are not even aware of? Instead they go after what is visible and what they know best, leaving some very interesting IT jobs completely out of the mix when they are looking for work or want to build a long-term career in information technology. So in this video I will highlight one of those IT industries that offers plenty of work and plenty of career opportunity. Hi, my name is Christoph Putz, I'm a senior IT manager and I have over 22 years of IT experience. I've worked in several different industries and it allowed me really to have a much broader and different understanding of the differences between those industries and how it can impact your career and your income in the long run. If you are not familiar with my YouTube channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. On this channel, this is where we talk IT and how to build great careers with high earning potential. But now enough about my channel, let's go and take a look at this often overlooked field in information technology. When you look at information technology, you could say that IT is its own industry and in a certain way you are right from that perspective. But IT is also a business function that provides tools and services in pretty much every industry out there. So think finance, construction, pharmaceutical, auto manufacturing, insurance, shipping, hospitality, and, and, and. There are roles in the help desk for system administrators, software developers, network engineers, system engineers, information security professionals, application or systems analysts. These roles really exist in all these industries. So in today's video we're going to take a look at a specialized role or better roles in the healthcare industry. To be more exact we're taking a look at the role of a health information system technician or health information technology technician. So let me set the stage. When you go to the doctor they have all your personal data in their system. Your entire health industry is in there, everything really. So this can be a smaller system that lives in your doctor's practice on-prem, so to speak, or it lives on much larger scale at a hospital or in the cloud. So this could be a cloud system that is uh, dedicated to a specific area in healthcare or it's a generic healthcare cloud service for an example. But the thing that I want to point out here is all your data is in there. So your doctor may work with an iPad or a laptop on the different computer systems. They are networked so they can go from the different rooms and have your information available at their fingertips. So it goes really quick and easy so that you can go and let's say you go from a regular treatment room to get your blood pulled in a different room or you have to get an x-ray done and all your information is right there. The second use case is more hospital or clinic specific. These centers run expensive medical devices to treat their patients. CAT scan? Yes, absolutely. X-ray machine? Oh yes. Heart lung machine, ultrasound, pharmaceutical type of systems in a pharmacy, be it in a hospital or at CVS, Walgreens, whatever pharmacy you know. So, so many different use cases, there are plenty of those out there. You name it, they got it, there is a computer system, there is data and that data needs to be maintained, there needs to be data entered, there needs to be data verified. So a lot of related work here where you need to have some application specific knowledge but also healthcare specific knowledge. So I just listed some areas where highly specialized information technology systems are in use. Hardware, software, network, information security. There's a lot that runs on a computer system of some sort in some way. These systems need highly trained nurses, practitioners, doctors, but also highly trained and specialized technicians and system administrators. So IT technicians and IT systems administrators that is. But these are specialized. So this is where the career paths kind of split, where you have the more technical side of things, where you have the traditional information technology. So your traditional help desk, your traditional system administrators. But then you have the healthcare side and that's where the data and governance side of things as an example lives. And that's what I would describe as the health information technology side of things. Health information technicians and administrators must know how patient care software systems and related applications are built, used, maintained, installed and so on. So through software updates and upgrades and it includes backups as an example where health information technicians and administrators make sure that the data is secure and properly backed up so it can be restored, that the software is running efficiently. So there are so many areas where this needs to be put together. So if we look at this field really where we have information technology involved, there is a smaller number of jobs accordingly because it is such a specialized area. 
there will also be a smaller number of people who actually work in this area. So if you have the right domain knowledge, you have less competition and it's easier for you to find work. The work really is less impacted from influences outside of the healthcare system. So let's say the economy goes down, people will still get sick. They still need to go to the hospital. They still need to go to the doctor. It's not suddenly that a whole hospital closes down because the economy is down and there are not enough patients. So health does not change. So here are a few tasks that I gathered from the few different job postings that I was looking at as an example. You can tell it goes into some areas of IT and health that you have not heard about before probably. So here it goes. First, so responsible for maintenance and day-to-day -day operation of RAS, PACS and dictation systems including image workflow, archiving auto routing and other related activities. Got it? Yeah, you probably have not seen that in a regular job description. So this is healthcare specific. Second, let's see what the second job description has. Investigates and solves specific operational problems within all clinical operational areas, working closely with radiologists, facility managers and clinical staff. So again, this is a job posting, a part of a job posting in the healthcare industry. Again, it's very specific. So let's look at the third example here. Maintain record of daily data communication, transactions, problems, and remedial action taken and installation activities. Fourth example, so providing expertise while implementing multiple use cases to integrate healthcare systems, installing and configuring Philips interoperability solution products, providing both remote and on-site support. This include custom scripting and forms designed for customers. And a fifth example here to really bring the point home. Coordinate and assist with the implementation of technology projects, including modification of existing applications or installation of new applications to address clinical needs as identified. So these five examples, um, they list really a small number, but specific number of skills. You have to think in a way that it's really just a glimpse of what to expect if you go and decide to work in healthcare information technology. I think you would probably agree with me on this, but the barrier of entry is significantly higher for one of those jobs compared to regular IT technician roles. Your normal CompTIA A plus certification, it will not get you one of these jobs, that's for sure. So now let's look at the healthcare side of the occasion. Again, job titles can be identical and you would be looking for the health information technician as the main job title. A health information technician is a unique job in healthcare because it is one of the few jobs in healthcare that does not involve direct personal care. So you're not working with the patient directly. So the nurses and the practitioners, they are doing this. You are working in a slightly different areas. These workers work in an area of medical records as an example. So you manage and organize medical data. You're ensuring the accuracy and the security of this data. So security, information security, very, very important here. You can also track patterns of disease treatment outcomes as an example. So what happens when patients receive a certain medication or treatment? So you may, you may be working on data you will be maintaining and updating software that, um, that handles the data that we were just talking about. So health information technicians can also specialize in certain types of information. So certain types of data such as medical coding or maintaining cancer registrars as an example if you would work in a cancer healthcare facility, clinic, hospital, whatever it is. And there's an even bigger barrier of entry, but it also provides a long lasting job security. So think about it, data is very critical. The way how you handle this data is extremely important. So this is not something that you pick up on the fly by reading a document and then you're done. So there's training involved. So with that training involved, it also requires certification. So most employers in this field really require you to be certified. The certification that stands out in this field is the RHIT certification, which stands for Registered Health Information Technician Certification. So these roles are more data centric, but also include data governance related skills. So these skills translate nicely into the ability to transfer from a healthcare provider into a significantly better paying role, let's say in the pharmaceutical industry. You would be surprised how many people 
go into pharmaceutical coming from really a medical background, including doctors and pharmacists. So it's, it's not a surprise once you're in this industry to see who's working in pharmaceutical. But this role where you could go become a health information technician first and then migrate into the pharmaceutical industry, it's definitely a great career path. So in a different video, I will show you how to get into this field and how to find jobs accordingly. But I will also show you how to map out that career strategy. So as an example, if you wanted to go into pharmaceutical, um, then I will lay that out as well. So for now, let's continue and find out how much money can you possibly earn in this field. So income for the role of a healthcare IT technician is all over the place. And I wish I could give you specific numbers, but it's really dependent on location and your level of experience. So, but what I can do is you can take this and compare it to a regular computer technology technician. And I use this word loosely here. So I mentioned the A plus certification before. So you could say, okay, I become RHIT certified. I compare myself to A plus. What does that translate to from a salary perspective? So and this translates to that you can potentially make 10 to 20% more in salary compared to a technician on the other side as just mentioned. So it's easier to find salaries for help desk technicians and not just the junior and entry level. I'm more talking mid-level and senior level. So that's where these 10 to 20% increases really come into play. So just think about it that way. It's easier to find regular help desk related salaries or computer technician related salaries. And then you add 10, 20, maybe even 25% on top of it. So that gives you a good understanding of where you can end up. So a lot of these roles may be available at smaller operations and practices, and there's not a lot of money to be made. So if you work for a smaller doctor office, even if they have a couple of locations, there is not big money to be made. So if you go to a larger organization, a healthcare uh, carrier, a hospital, or the related hospital chains, as an example, there is a significantly better income opportunity for you. And of course, of course, there are also quite a few managed services provider in this field and that's where really decent to good money is to be made as well because you work for different doctors, different clinics, different practices, but as part of that managed services provider. That managed services provider is able to really upscale and then pay a little more compared to just the individual office. As mentioned before, hospitals or larger healthcare organizations have very different opportunities, but here it can happen as well that you may be working for a smaller organization. So think in smaller cities or states, less populated states here in the United States. So in general, compare salaries to IT professionals in regular industries and potentially add the 10 to 20%, maybe in some cases 25%. So this video is getting a bit long and I think there's so much more information. So I will create additional videos and then cover that information in those additional videos. Well, that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so as well. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.